computer system environments. So this includes traditional mobile client server, peer-to-peer, -peer, it should be E here, peer-to-peer, -peer, cloud computing, and real-time embedded. For traditional, well, when I say traditional, we are using the standalone general purpose machines. Your computer is not connected to the network. Okay. But blurred as most systems interconnect with others like the internet. Okay. Now portals provide web access to internal systems. Network computers, also known as thin clients, are like web terminals. Mobile computers interconnect via wireless networks and networking becoming ubiquitous, even home systems use firewall to protect home computers from internet attacks. So these are the traditional setup. Now on mobile, we have handheld smartphones, tablets, okay? So what is the functional difference between them and a traditional laptop? So it's more handy, okay? And you've got the freedom of mobility with a smaller size all right so extra feature more os features gps gyroscope okay allows new types of apps like augmented reality the use of the wireless cellular data networks for connectivity so leaders in mobile includes the apple and android client server Client server computing, so dumb terminals, okay, by smart PCs, many systems now servers responding to requests generated by clients. Okay, so client server, you have the server, you have to set up your server that will cater the requests of the clients. So the computer server systems provides an interface to client to request services. File server system provides interface for clients to store and retrieve files. Next would be peer-to-peer. -peer. When you say peer-to-peer, -peer, you directly connect your computer with another computer and so on. Okay, so also known as P2P. Okay, so P2P does not distinguish clients and servers. So usually in a peer-to-peer, -peer, you are on the same level. So in this example here, all of these computers are client. So instead, all nodes are considered peers many each act as client server or both so node must join p2p network okay so registers its service with central lookup service or on the network or broadcast requests for service and respond to requests for service via discovery protocol next is cloud computing so delivers computing, storage, even apps as a service across the network. So logical extension of virtualization. Okay, so that's cloud computing. So this includes public, private, or hybrid clouds. Okay, so public is available by the internet to anyone who's willing to pay. Private is run by company for company's use. And hybrid cloud is a combination of public and private. Okay. So also you have the software as a service, one or more applications available by the internet. So platform as a service, software is stock ready for applications used via the internet. And you've got the EAS or infrastructure as a service, servers or storage available over the internet. You also have the latest, which is the ITAS or ITAS, IT as a service. Now in cloud computing, environments composed of traditional OSS plus VMMs or virtual machine managers plus cloud management tools. Internet connectivity requires security like firewalls. Okay. Load balancers spread traffic across multiple applications. Okay. Next would be the real-time embedded systems, often used as a control device in a dedicated application such as controlling scientific experiments, okay, medical imaging systems, industrial control systems, and other some display systems. Okay, so well-defined fixed 
time constraints, real-time systems may be either hard or soft real-time. Okay? So, hard real-time, secondary storage limited or absent, data storage in short-term memory, or read-only memory or ROM. Conflicts with time-sharing system not supported by general-purpose operating systems. Okay? So, for the soft real-time, Limited utility in industrial control of robotics. Useful in applications, multimedia, virtual reality, requiring advanced operating system features. All right. So that's real-time systems. How about free and open source operating systems? So operating systems made available in free source code format rather than just a binary closed source and proprietary like Windows. Okay. So counter to copyright protection and digital rights management movement. So started by the Free Software Foundation, which has copyleft GNU Public License or GPL. Okay. So free software and open source software are two different ideas championed by different groups of people. Okay. Examples include the GNU Linux and BSD Unix, including core Mac OS X and many more. So you can use VMM like VMware Player, free on Windows, a virtual box, open source, and free on many platforms. Okay. You have um, Hyper-V. Okay. So that is, or that goes along with the operating systems, Windows 8 and up. All right. So those are the free open source operating systems and the proprietary OS like Windows. Okay, so that's the end of this video lecture. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.